amazing day with Voss on the beach, I invited him back to my place so we can go over our lines some more. It can't hurt to practice. Casa de Manhattan. <laughs> Liza. Hey, oh. baby, what's oh. going on? Oh. Hey, what's going on? Hello, Thank you man. for doing a oh. ride, man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Oh, my God. Hey, sweetie, what's going on? <laughs> I missed you so much. Where's Liza? She left. I came out here to surprise you, baby. You did? I told you I was going to step it up, you know? <laughs> I'm very surprised. Oh, my God. Hey, you don't seem happily surprised. I'm so not happy to see Taylor made. It's not like him to be this spontaneous. I think that he has an agenda. I don't know quite what he really is doing here, and it's bothering me. Hey, Can I just make a little drink, please? No, Boss, I'll be right there. What, you guys were practicing, or what are you doing? I feel like leaving my own house. What? You might no, be out of my house. What am I bothering? This is your... I can't even <laughs> see you. You know what? You don't need to see me. No, why I'm, not? You know, I'm here in person, travel 3,000 miles to see you, and you're acting like, like I'm bothering you. You don't fucking love me! And you know that shit is true. Before America knew who you was, okay. you was at my every beck and call. You did everything for me. You was right there. What? As soon as you got some fame, you took away your fucking love, and that was enough. I'm done, case closed. All right, you did sense. take from me. Here's Taylor May, and he's like ruining it for me. You know, just when I thought I was just gonna come out here, pursue my dream, and leave all my shit back home, it really pissed me off. Today was so beautiful, and he ruined it. I'm sorry. I, I'm just sorry that you had to bear witness you to this to shit stain on my life. I was so shocked that Voss sat there through all that bickering Taylor made and I was doing. I said, that's a real man right there. Ye not yet leave. I want you to stay. Let me be taken. Let me be put to death. Pretty good. You just may have to work a little better on your delivery, boss. But other than that, it's pretty good. You yeah, know, too? I think right? you could probably do some you wanna try? off, off, off Broadway stuff, and you, you would try. Uh, you know what? I'll show you how it's done if you want. Don't I'm ever change, insult change my, my partner <laughs> because he helps me in ways that you've never stepped up to help. Yeah. He's a creative person. I can see that. Creativity <laughs> flows through him, <laughs> and he's a that. great help to me. Uh, I don't know. I need to, <laughs> but thanks. Man. You do need to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can spot me one day. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Boss, I'll see you tomorrow, sweetie. All right. You might want to pull up your pants a little. Take care, man. Yeah. Get in the gym. Juliet. Don't call me Juliet. That's not going to inspire me. Trust me. Come here. Put that drink down. I told you about the drinks. I'm not sure if there's love left in my relationship with Taylor Maid. He totally changed. You know, he's just acting like a new individual. And the worst thing is, he has no time for me. So, so tell me about everything you've been doing. We're been doing a lot of things. Excellent. Been doing a lot. Well, hopefully not too much uh, with the boss. See, that's what you wouldn't understand about a man like that. He has respect for me, and we keep it... Professional, though? Very much so. I try to sit down to an adult dinner with Taylor, and I just, I don't really know why he's here, and it's bugging me. And I just feel like he's not being honest to me. You seem like you didn't want to correspond over the phone. I mean, like, that's the kind of the vibe I got the last time we were, we were talking. That's why I said, you know, I'll come out here and see you. I don't agree with you. Well, why are we talking I think the last time we spoke, um, it was kind of like we wouldn't speak again. You have a beautiful, successful black woman on your arm that has not been piped down in over three months, and you need to be ashamed of yourself. I'm not gonna be anybody's fool. Oh, what do you mean by that? You know, it's so good to have somebody out there for you. Like Eliza is for me. Oh. You, know, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm always here for you, but a lot of times. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that had to be the joke of the day. Well. So Taylor Man has this dinner set up for me, and you know, all of this just seems really fake to me. I don't think Taylor Maid is making a serious attempt to connect with me emotionally. 
I don't know where you're coming from. <laughs> you're the one who you wanted to come pursue your acting career. I totally supported you. And you came out here, and you kind of make it seem like I abandoned Okay. Now, if we want to use big words, we're going to have to... What was the big word? Support. Oh, okay. You have to define what support is because that way I can correct you. Someone who, when you're there, when you have trouble, is there for you. You know, emotionally, when you're, when you're, you know, you're down and out. That's the person you can you can look to. Down and out. Okay. Like you're in the, when you're feeling down, that's the person you can call and they'll, you know, cheer you up. You know what? Let me just. I'm just gonna. My definition of someone being a fiance is being there for that person. You know, physically, emotionally, and and just plain showing you know love and respect. I think this is great that you're you're pursuing a career because I think that what's different now is you. Sometimes you'll say that I was tired. I would be working all day. Then then we'd meet for dinner, and you're ex wondering why I was tired. But it's because you would sleep till like two o'clock. Now you're working every day. You're grinding. It's gonna help our relationship because before a lot of times I think what would happen is you know you a relationship. It will help our relationship. A relationship? Okay. A relationship? A relationship. Well, what I'm saying... What relationship? What relationship? Yes! <laughs> I want it! I want it! I love you so much. <laughs> okay? That's where I am. Okay. So... If I had a man... So I would be there for him. You're lying. You're you know fucking it. lying. <laughs> Don't lie. You want to fucking lie, lie. <laughs> TaylorMade and I tried to sit down and have a civilized dinner, but things really didn't go that way. I don't know what we're really going to do, and I just need more time to think about all of this. This was meant to happen. after fighting with Taylor Made, But also, I have my showcase today, and that's the main focus right now for me. <laughs> Anyways, right. I'm gonna study back here for okay. the showcase. I've been doing really well. Um, I'd just rather run lines with my pillow. I'm gonna focus on my showcase and deal with Taylor Made after my lines are more memorized. Yon light is not daylight. I know it. It is the meteor that the sun exhales to be to thee this night a torchbearer, and light thee on thy way to Mantua. Therefore, stay yet. Thou needest not to be gone. I'm still upset, but if I'm going to perform today, I don't want there to be too much negativity in the air. Record your message after the tone. Uh, hey, how you doing, um, Taylor? It's Tiffany. You know, I realized last night we got off to a really rough start and everything, but, um, you know, last night was last night. I'm just calling to invite you to my showcase today, actually. You know, I worked really hard on it, and, you know, I just wanted to invite you out. I decided to invite Taylor May to my showcase. After everything that was said last night, I don't know if he'll show up. Hopefully, I'll see you later. Bye. That was, that was nice. really nice. That was really that nice. That was very fucking nice. Even though things are really rocky with Taylor Made right now, I have to admit, I really do love him, and I hope things do work out. Oh, behold, my Romeo. Let's go, Juliet. Are covered up. Hey, you look beautiful. Thank you. So do you. Come on, let's go sit down. I noticed that TaylorMade is not at my acting class yet. So I'm thinking maybe he decided not to come. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Everyone ready for performance day? Let's do it. Very good. Well, first I want to say hello to our friends and family who have come today. Thank you very much. Give them a round of applause. Come on. Hello, come on in. Hi, how are you? Hi. I was so shocked when I saw Taylor May come through the door because I thought that he wasn't going to come. But 
It felt good to kind of see him come in and be there. Boss, Tiffany, you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm so freaked out. It's bad enough that I have anxiety. I feel like when I hit this stage, I'm just going to forget everything that I was meant to do. Will thou be gone? It is not yet near day. It was the nightingale and not the lark that pierced the fearful hollow of thine ear. Nightly she sings on yon pomegranate tree. Believe me, love, it was the nightingale. It was the lark, the herald of the morn. No oh, nightingale. Then window, let light in. And let life out. Farewell. One last kiss, and I'll descend. I do. I do. Okay. Let's sit down. When I first met you, I wasn't sure if you had the acting gene. I wasn't sure if that was something that, he, that was inside of you, that talent. And to be really real right now, I think you do have that inside of you. Thank you. you. I think that it's Thank definitely you. there for you. Thank you. And how did everybody else feel? I was so proud of myself when Scott told me that I had what it take to be a real actress. So that shows me that I made a lot of progress. Thanks, Scott, you for everything. Oh, Scott, thank you. Okay. Nice to see you. Too. Okay, okay. be good. See you in Boston. Great job. I wanted to, you know, support you, you know what I mean? Well, I was thinking maybe if you wanted to have a, a bite to eat or something. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's up to you. I no, wouldn't no, want to force you or nothing no, like that. I would like I just, to. I mean, I I, the way things were last night, I don't want to. That was. I, I don't know. I mean, that's. I don't want to leave it like that. I mean. The reason why I invited Taylor May to go to dinner with me after my scene was because I just kind of wanted to give it one more shot. If Taylor May is open and honest with me during dinner, there might be a really good shot at us working out our relationship. How are you guys? Hey, good. how you doing? Too? Good. Welcome to Dolce. Thank you. Let me show you to your table. <laughs>
man is not really listening to what I'm saying, and he won't let me get in a word edgewise, it just really upsets me, and it also shows me the lack of respect that he has for my feelings. Oh, Taylor, man, let me tell you something. You changed so much once you got a little hit of fame. Oh, yeah, really? It was ridiculous. You was a great boyfriend to me. I was a great boyfriend before, when I wasn't working, and then once I worked, once I went back to work, you, you got said, discovered. you know, the real problem is you should have picked it. Buddha. You should have picked the Don't guy who's unemployed no, and picked who would just you. fucking right. follow you around all You're the time. Right. The fact that so I'm independent and I have a job, pick a guy who's unemployed because that's what you said you want. I don't need any advice from you. If Taylor Maid is just gonna walk away every time we disagree, then maybe this thing is really over. Taylor Maid comes slinking back in after storming off for the second time in two dinners. Or just a fool. Am I allowed to speak to you? What, what I feel is you turn me into exactly what I don't want to be, which is you feed off me being emotional. <laughs> you were not allowing me to speak, and I was thinking of the mo I was trying to, to tell you something that, that, you know. The reason why I didn't let you speak because I wasn't finished making my point. Well, no, actually, you, you cut me off, and then you said, let me speak. You said to me, you've never been in a relationship. But that makes no sense. Well, then, I'm tell a grown woman. How the hell? You the first man I, that I dated that had you said a job. I, you said I don't. I, you can't deal with it. You're used to someone not working. You told me that. No, I didn't say that. I, I said that. you work a lot of hours. I said I'm not used to neglect. That's what I said. There's a big difference, corporate. Okay. okay. Taylor Maid is being disrespectful on purpose. He knows how to push my buttons, but I'm gonna show him that I'm not gonna let it get to me right now. I was hoping when I had dinner with you that I was gonna just feel you be real to me. What did I, I do? Didn't was stupid. See what any did you do of stupid? that or feel any of that? I feel like I've been me. You haven't been you because you're. You, at least I haven't lied. You said stuff that's not even true. You, you, Turn you it around on me. I don't care. But let, let me tell you the bottom you line know, where it rests is this dinner was meant for me to see you. You never came. We're just talking in circles right now. He's not listening to me. He's not respecting me. You acted like a dick throughout this dinner because the, we're gonna talk about the same thing we've talked about all the time, the emotional volatility, the ro but roller coaster. You, the, we've had this conversation. The What's the point of but having a conversation thing, again? Though. Let me tell you something. I was hoping to talk to you and connect with but you. But why do you want to repeat happen. the conversation we so had? now I'm done. Okay, have a nice day. You mean life? Life. I'm done. Yeah. See you. I'm done. Okay, have a nice day. Oh, this is my table. You walk from here. I'm not getting up. I know that this chapter of my life is closed for good. I gave that man time and time and chance after chance to make it right with me. But he shows me that he didn't want to, so it's over. How do you make burritos? Oh, I'm gonna make that one. Oh, <laughs> oh that might be funny. <laughs> I am so not good at doing anything myself. Oh my God, this is not gonna work out. <laughs> this is not good.